Good evening, and welcome to this energy-focused yoga flow that is designed to lift you up and move you in a positive direction. We're gonna start on the mat. We're gonna mobilize through our hips and our spine. We're gonna flow through our vinyasas and our warriors. We'll, we'll, we, we will wind back down and end up in Savasana. But before we get started, if you're excited to de-stress and energize with me this evening, make sure you give me a heart. If you haven't watched with me before, my name is Sable. I'm a certified personal trainer. I've been coaching for over five years. At the end of this video, please leave a comment and let me know how you feel because that's what's most important, connecting with each other and hearing how others are feeling and how we are helping each other in this process. Let's get started. So I'm just getting comfortable on my mat. I'm relaxing my feet in front of me, relaxing my knees. We're gonna start with hands soft on the knees and take some breath work here. As I said, we're gonna focus on energy up, sort of lifting from the ground, connecting to the sky when we move up off of our mats. Take some breaths in and out. And let's start to roll those shoulders up, down and back. So really feel that rotation pull down, away from your ears. Take another breath in. Soften into that nice posture. We're gonna lean forward by pushing our elbows in towards our sides here. And exhale, straighten the arms back. So I'm finding my full height from tailbone to crown of my head here. Inhale, inhale forward. Exhale back, push, find that height. One more right here, big breath in. Here, feel that opening from your tailbone, through your ribs, up through those relaxed shoulders. We're gonna take our neck side and side, very carefully. Pull one side and then the other. Do one more each way, guys. One more each way. And then we'll take our arms nice and long. Again, folding elbows into the sides, reaching side and side. Don't forget your breaths. Inhales and exhales. One more each way. Open the sides of the body here, reach. Take those palms behind your hips, thumbs face forward, open the chest, shoulders down. Lift your heart to the sky. And exhale nice and big. We come back center right here. I'm gonna take my legs out long in front. Lifting still tall and down. We're not holding quite deep yet because we're still warming up. And down. And down. Lift again, reach to the ceiling. Over. A little bit of a hold on this one. Let's
start to open the knees just as wide as you're comfortable. We know I'm not a gymnast, so this is not really my strong suit, but we're going to do mermaid waves here, guys. Reach over. Reach. You should feel that pull a little bit deeper down into the hips. Reach again. One more each way. And then reach forward along those legs toward the ankles. Reach, hold the elbows down if you can. Lifting through that tailbone. I'm gonna shift into a kneeling warrior, or kneeling runner's lunge right here. So my right knee is back. Left knee is forward. Once you find that position and you're comfortable, reach the hands up into the sky, reach. One big breath and then exhale back. Hamstring stretch. Let's do that again. Reach up. Take it back. Using my hands for balance, I'm going to bring my right leg forward. When you're comfortable, reach up. Big breath. Push it back. Pointing the toes up, hips back. Reach up again. Take it back. Bring both legs back. Open the knees, drop into a child's pose stretch. So this is what I was talking about, really mobilizing through hips and spine so that we have gathered our energy from the floor before we move up into our warriors. Pull up into that upward dog. Big breath in. Exhale back, child's pose again. Repeat that for me. Here we go, up into that upward dog. Elbows tight beside the ribs, big breath in. Child's pose. I'm going to tuck my toes behind me here and walk back into my feet. A little hang. And I want you to draw that power up. Step into your mountain pose. I don't know about you but I feel ready now to flow through these warriors in the vinyasas. Let's inhale up, plugging fingertips into the sky, floating down into forward fold. Inhale up, down into forward fold. One more time, reach. We're gonna go a little bit faster this evening, so we're not gonna hold as long. I might repeat a few more times. Stay with me if you can, chair pose. Big breath up, mountain reaching, fingertips in the sky, forward fold. Big breath up. Chair pose, we're gonna add a crescent. We're gonna step back with our right foot. Step it back. So really reach through that back foot. We're gonna step back up powerfully again into our mountain here, reach. Exhale down. Inhale up. Chair pose, here we go, set it down. Crescent on the left, reach through that back foot, power up. Step up strong into your mountain here. And full vinyasa, so we're taking everything to the floor, up dog, down dog. Step it back into your plank. Here 
Here's your first downward dog. Walk it back in. And roll it up nice and slow. Bring that with you. Bring your power from the soles of your feet to the top of your head. And we're going to step back into our crescent pose on the right. Here we go into warrior one. Turn that right foot down, angle forwards guys, hips forward. Warrior two. Reverse warrior reach. Long with that left hand. Take it forwards into warrior two again. Warrior one, here we are. Crescent pose. Full vinyasa, float those hands down to the floor. Here we go. Upward dog. Downward dog. Walk those feet into the hands. Roll it up, here we go. Plug those fingertips into the sky. Chair pose, we're gonna repeat on the other side. Left leg crescent, you should be nice and warm right now. Connect to your breath. Warrior one on this side. My mats are bothering me tonight, guys, sorry. And warrior two. And let's reach along with that top hand. Bring it back to that warrior two. Warrior one. Crescent pose. We're gonna float hands to the floor for that full vinyasa, float them down. Upward dog. Tail back, driving the heels down, walk it up and in, roll up, pull hands, big breath, bring hands to heart center, we're going to flow through those again, and we're going to add our triangle poses, okay? Side angle poses. So sit down in a chair. Starting with our right lead. Right leg back. Here we go. Warrior one. Warrior two. Left hand down. Reaching up into the sky. So really open through the hips. Stretch it out long. Straighten that front leg if you would like. Take that stretch a little bigger. Bending that front knee. Finding that side angle. Warrior two. Nice and strong. If you lift it up, push back. Drop it in. Warrior one. Crescent pose. Here we go. And our right arm is floating down, twisting the other way. And both hands are coming down for that full vinyasa to lower down. Breathe. Upward dog. Downward dog. Walking those feet in. We're gonna repeat again, inhale up, left lead. Here we go. I'm feeling so good, friends, hope you are too. Left leg is going back into crescent pose. Warrior one. Warrior two. My right arm is floating into that side angle pose. Left arm up into the sky.
and straighten that front leg. Take your hand down to the ankle if you can for a bigger triangle. Bending that front leg, bringing it back up. Smooth transition to warrior two. You got this, friends, we're almost there. Swing it back through to warrior one. Or crescent pose here. We're gonna float hands to the floor, full vinyasa. Downward dog. Driving those heels down. The hamstring should be opening for you. Walking those feet back up into the hands. Power up, big breath, and bring your hands to heart center. Take a few steadying breaths here. You feel that heart pumping? You feel that blood rising? You're getting there. You're shifting. Go with it. Move in that positive direction. Here we go. We're going to take it into our straddle stretches. Inhale up. And we're just going to step straight back into that crescent pose with the right lead. Warrior one. Warrior two. We're going to straighten our front leg. Turn that left toe forward. Reach it down into your straddle stretch. Now from here, if you can, very carefully, you're gonna sink into both hips, knees at the elbows. If you can't quite do this yet, balance with your hands, sit wherever you're comfortable in your squat. Take a few deep breaths here. Hands down, balance, push back up, flat back. Hands to hips, lift. Turn that left foot forward. Bend and reach. Reach for that warrior. Warrior one. Crescent pose. Find your mountain. Step up into it. Here we go. Step forward, fold. Hold the ankles right here. Really dig into those hamstrings. And inhale up. We're gonna step back now with the left lead, crescent pose on the left. Warrior one right here. Warrior two. And we're gonna straighten that front leg, angle the toes forward, reach into your straddle stretch. And we're going to repeat that opening of the hips here. Knees and elbows contact. Breathe. Hands down for balance to lift back up. Hang out in your straddle stretch right here if that feels good. Lift back up, hands on hips. Turning your right foot back forward, reaching into that warrior again. Find that length through the fingertips all the way across the back. Warrior one. Crescent pose. We're gonna step it up into that mountain right here. Reach everybody up to receive. Fold it down. Hang in your forward fold right here. Tuck the chin to the chest if you can.
and roll up through the spine one vertebrae at a time. One at a time. Shoulders up down and back at the top. We're going to transition everything to the floor again. We're going to take a big vinyasa, guys. Inhale up. Exhale down. Step it back nice and carefully into your plank pose here. Upward dog. We're going to slow these down a little bit. And now downward dog. Tuck your toes. Driving through the heels. Let's roll it back forward into our plank. Drop the knees. Open into child's pose. Come back up in to upward dog. Knees together. Lift. Child's pose. Draw it forward. Carefully lay yourself down. We're going to take ears to the floor. So relax the rest of your body. Relax your neck. My left ear is on the mat. Taking a lift up with my head here. Other side. One more each way. Inhale up again, last time on the right. Find your full upward dog. This time we will use down dog, tucking the toes, driving through the heels. Float back up into your plank pose. And I'm going to challenge you all. This is a power pose right here. We're going to rotate. I'm on my left palm. I'm going to rotate into side plank. If you want to advance, you can tuck the right foot on top. Bring it back around on the center. Carefully push back into your child's pose. Lift back up into plank. We're going to do that again on the other side. Here's your full plank. Find your support with a nice wide right hand. Rotate up into the sky. You're asking for that. You're asking for those gifts to come down to you right here by reaching. Rotate carefully back into your full plank and rest in child's pose. Upward dog. Downward dog. Here comes your pigeon series, okay? Right leg is going to float up into the chest. Let's relax into our pigeons. Lift. Tucking toes in the left foot, right foot's going back. Upward dog. Downward dog. Left foot floats up into the chest. Relax into your pigeons.
lifting up here. Take that up dog, down dog combo again for me. Plank first. Careful lower. Up. Back. Drop the knees, open child's pose. Let's take our right arm underneath our left. Taking right ear all the way down to the mat. I'm pulling with my right fingertips. Sink in the other side. Hands underneath hips right here, kind of open the knees a little bit further. Roll those shoulders up, down, and back. We're going to reach up. A few big breaths right here. And then level one here, hands on hips, pushing hips forward. Just relax your head back. Level two, taking hands to heels. Support again through the back if you need to. Carefully folding in to child's pose. Walking hands under hips. Arch it up into cat and camel. Arch it up. Push it back. Arch it up. Push everything down. Take this at your own pace if it feels good. And I'm going to transition to seated right here, guys. So bring everything around in the front. I'm tucking my left foot in first. Starting with my right, I'm gonna reach long. Stretch out the back of the leg. Try and relax your knee right here. So we are getting close to that wind down. I want you to lift just a little bit, maybe right hand to ankle. Reach first with that left arm out to the side and then bending that right elbow, lift those left fingertips up. Bring that hand down. We're gonna fold left ankle on top of right knee, push into the hips. Lots of chest and hip openers in this series because we need to open our hearts and we need to open our power centers. Fold that down into a full stack. Left foot I'm bringing out long, folding in my right heel. Starting with that deeper stretch, kind of get to the bottom of the foot, relax the knee on top. And I'm kind of bringing my hand to my ankle, opening first, hands to the side, and then folding my left elbow in, reaching my right fingertips up to the sky. Hand down, folding the bottom of the feet together. Knees open. Hinge forward at the hips. We're going to fold the knees in. 
Rocking back nice and slow. First hug everything in. I'm gonna turn this side here. Hug everything in. And then we're gonna take legs out long. Palms to the sky right here. This is your Savasana. This is your corpse pose. This is your moment. You deserve this right here. So if you connected to this, if you connected to this movement, you should feel sort of vibration and tingly from your toes to your fingers. You should feel lighter for sure. And feel free to take as long as you need at home, wherever you're watching from. I'd love to hear that in the comments. I will go ahead and sit up and wrap up the live. So thank you for tuning in today. If you are watching live, to those of you that are going to do this later, thank you too. Remember to leave a comment and tell me how you feel because I want to know. And also don't forget to tune in to me Monday live at 5. We're going to do bar and it's going to have extra arm work. Share these things. Hashtag move with Sable.